the pan and bottle. Because you know how you cook dinner, and your gravy is the last thing that you pour in the rice. And he's getting ready to put the gravy. But well, I wanted to keep bubbling, I wanted to keep bubbling. Said she didn't have no manners. She didn't give out to nobody. She, she, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't do none of that. But I have intelligence. And I thank God for your leader. I said, I almost said Dr. Michael Smith. And to his lovely wife, my niece. And to you, the saints of God. That have pushed your way out here. God is not through yet. Tell your neighbor, say, He's not through yet.
school. See, they didn't look around, Pastor Smith. When one start praising God, everybody just... <laughs>
there were some folks on your job got fired and you're still there. Yeah. I might just preach a while. Look out, Bishop. Hallelujah. Pastor Mr. This is our building. We own this building. Tell somebody this is another praise. Get your Bible, stand on your feet for the reading of the word of God. Leviticus chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. That's in the Old Testament. Leviticus chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. Mark chapter 5, 25 through 34. So put your finger on Mark 25. And we will start in Leviticus chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. Everyone standing, as can stand for the reading of the word of God. Leviticus chapter 12, verses 1 through 4, you may read along with me. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a male child, then she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of the separation of her infirmity, she shall be unclean. And in the eighth day of the flesh, his foreskin shall be circumcised, and she shall be unclean. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. When you have it, say, Preacher, I got it. Let us read it. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and has suffered many things of many positions, and has spent all that she had. Read it. And straight away, and immediately, Jesus, and me, mm -hmm. take notice of the fifth chapter of Mark in chapter 27. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. Look at your name and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Your miracle, your miracle, it's in the press. It's in the press. Tell someone else, your miracle, your miracle, it's in the press. 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 Your miracle, your miracle, it's in the press
it's in the press. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Here, the Lord gave to Moses the ceremonial law in the Old Testament. And according to that ceremony, there were certain things a woman could not do. One of the issues was that they could not come into the sanctuary. And so, if they had an issue, they had to stay out of the sanctuary and no hollow thing could they touch. But this woman who had an issue for 12 years, you cannot imagine not going to church for 12 years. You're getting it. Not only that, the Bible said no hollow things she could touch. Anything that was sacred, she couldn't touch a Bible, she couldn't read a Bible. Oh, Lord, help me up in here. Another problem was that she went to her physician. And no doubt, he said, I cannot help you, so I need to send you to a specialist. So the Bible declared that she went from this physician to that physician. So I'm saying to myself, for 12 long years. And then I said to myself, this woman must have some money. Not 12 hours, not 12 months, but 12 years she had an issue. And the Bible said that it did not get any better. She went to this position and to that position and it got no better. In fact, it got worse. <laughs> she suffered many things. So here in this verse 27, when she heard of Jesus, you know what? Somebody ought to say, thank God for grace. Thank God for grace. Moses wrote the law, but Jesus Christ yes. uh -huh. came by what? Truth and... Ah, y'all get that, y'all get that. Yes. So here, she heard that Jesus was in town. I don't know if someone said to her, uh, have you heard about blind Bartimaeus? Who was sitting by the wayside begging. He was blind. And he had an issue. Yes. It's amazing how when he was reaching out, trying to get to Jesus, the people said, shut up. Oh. And it's amazing how you got everything you want, and you come into God's house, and you got a praise, or you got a situation, and someone sitting beside you saying, shut up, it doesn't take all that. Well, well, if you've been through what I've been through, you will have a praise too. It's in the press. Why, 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 your, why is your miracle in the press? Because in the press, she made contact. And some of you all need to make contact with Jesus. Because you need a miracle, you need a breakthrough, and you need to come out of your situation. Uh -huh. yes. But we want to sit there and be cute, uh -huh. knowing we have a situation. So she had an issue. So here, Black Bartimaeus said, Jesus, thy son of David. Yes, and they said, shut up. Come on, Bishop. Let me tell you something. When someone tells you to keep quiet, I don't care like that door was in the back of the church. You got to open your mouth and holler, Jesus! I don't care who it disturbed. You got to learn how to disturb the devil and say, Jesus, have mercy on me. I need help and I need it now. It's easy for 
for you to say, don't say anything when there's food in your refrigerator and all your bills are paid. You got a roof over your head. But I'm in the press and I need to make contact with Jesus. So she pressed behind him and touch his garment. Jesus realizing this, he said, who touched my clothes? Well, she made up in my mind, I need to press because now I need a breakthrough. And some of you all been spending money going to the doctor Year after year, and the situation is still the same. You need to make it in your mind. Who is the healer? Who is the maker of your body? You need to give it to Jesus. And, and, and so, 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 if I just can touch, just touch his clothes, the human is garment. If I can touch the tally. There's healing. There's power in the name of Jesus. It is deliverance in the name of Jesus. And the problem with the church is we have stopped calling on the name of Jesus. This is why you can't be delivered once you begin to call on him. Do you know there's power in his name? There's deliverance in his name. Like, what is he talking about? <laughs> this is why the devil don't want you to call on the name of Jesus. But every time you open your mouth, you want to call him like you want him. Yes. Oh my God, my God. So she said, if I just can touch the hem of his garment, she had enough faith to know she, that she will be made whole. And the Bible said, and straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, saying to himself, somebody, touch me. Isn't it so nice to realize that most of the time, Jesus touched us. But this time, he said, somebody touch me. See, see, when you got a prayer life, when you got a word life, and you have a situation, you can go to God. He said, somebody touch me. They said, well, wait a minute, Master. All these folks, all these crowds are on you. He said, no, but this touch. I felt the anointing. I felt the anointing leaving me. And the woman was so afraid to say anything. But he said, by faith. By faith. I'm trying to tell you all that's sitting here. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. God, I don't care where you sitting at right now and you need a healing, you just need to touch the hem. Uh, you got to press into your breakthrough. You have to make contact with God. You got to be serious like a young lady in the back. She just kept on praising God and kept on praising God because she wanted to make contact. But some of us, we think we got it made. If you need a healing today, you've been going to the doctor. All the medicine you have been taking haven't done you any good. You need to press. You need to press into your miracle. You need to press into your break. Through. Yeah. So I don't want to do that because 
you know, there's so many people here, and they're going to think something is wrong with me. Well, see, you got to be like blind Bartimaeus. You have to have a don't care attitude sitting by the wayside. He just heard that he was passing by and said, Jesus, I dare you to call him, Jesus, thy son of David, have mercy on me because I'm blind and I need my sight. I need my breakthrough. I need my deliverance. I need to visit you. I need a touch from you now. We're too dignified. The other time we were coming to the church, it didn't matter what was going on. You will get up and run to the altar and say, God, I need you now. Touch me now. Do it now in the name of Jesus. I'm going to take my seat. So, you have to be like the brethren had a friend that was sick and he needed help. They was in the press, but it was so many folks outside of the house, they couldn't get in. Somebody said, well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Get me a ladder. We're gonna take the roof. We're gonna take the roof off of the house because our friend need help. Our friend need a be. Yes. There are some things you have to be. Watch so many folks running around the church. Some of y'all be looking like, what, 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 what are they doing? But see, if you've been through, if you've been through what they've been through, you will be in the press. Because what you need is to make contact with Jesus. I'm going to take my seat. Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press, I press, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling in who? Stand on your feet. If you need a breakthrough today, if you're in the press today, you need God to do something. Forget about who's here. I want you to come to this altar. You want to make contact. You need a deliverance. You've been waiting for a breakthrough. Your deliverance, your breakthrough is in the name of Jesus. There are some times you have to press. You have to make contact with Christ. And the only thing you have to say, Lord, throw your hands up, throw your hands up. I need you now. I need you to touch me now. I need a breakthrough 
now. now. Now, why I'm saying this, you are to be calling on the name of Jesus. God, I need a touch now. I need you to do it now. I'm in the press. I have some issues. I mean, I have been 12 years. But it's been a long time. I come tell you, God is here right now. Your breakthrough is in this house now. Your breakthrough is in this house now. Your deliverance is in this house now. He's not concerned about your past. Lift them hands, lift them hands now. Just meditate on him. Meditate on him now. God, would you touch me now? Touch me now, God, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Some are sick in their bodies. Some need a touch now. Some need deliverance of the mind. Some need a breakthrough now. Touch these right now, God, that stand in the aisle. Touch them now in the name of Jesus. Now, we need a breakthrough now. God, we're just in your power. Send it in this house. Touch the souls that are standing here now. Some been waiting, some been waiting, some been waiting. Will you touch them in the name of Jesus? We know that you are a miracle worker. Touch your people now, God. In the name of Jesus. I want you to clap your hands and tell them thank you. Come on, tell them thank you for your deliverance. my breakthrough. Thank you for my deliverance. Oh, come on, tell the devil, I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this. Come on, give me your best praise. Give me your best praise. Jesus' name we pray.